board president of Dallas County Schools, will serve probation for tax evasion. Larry Duncan is one of five people charged in the corruption case that cost taxpayers tens of millions of dollars. Jennifer Lincoln's live outside the Earl Cabell Federal Building in Dallas. And Jen, prosecutors had wanted Duncan to go to prison after he admitted his guilt, but the judge said no, right? Uh, yeah, that's right, Karen. Larry Duncan faced up to 12 months in federal prison. Instead, he will serve three years probation, starting with six months confinement at his home. Duncan did not respond to requests for comment after the ruling this morning, but in court he apologized, saying he takes full responsibility for what he has done, no excuses. Last fall, he confessed to not paying taxes on some of the money he received from a bus camera vendor. The federal investigation into cons conspiracy and kickback allegations at DCS ultimately led to the shutdown of the bus transportation agency. And prosecutors called Duncan's role in that scheme public corruption and an abuse of trust. But unlike former Mayor Pro Tem Dwayne Carraway and the other defendants in this case, Duncan was only charged with tax evasion. Judge Barbara Lynn says she is suspicious that Duncan was involved in bribery, but prosecutors did not show proof of that, and she was confined to rule within that tax evasion charge. Well, the judge did say that she was suspicious about the, uh, the charges that had been brought, and uh, perhaps that wasn't all the charges that should have been brought. I, we don't know, uh, but uh, I, I, like the judge, am suspicious. Another factor the judge said weighed in her decision to grant probation. She says that Larry Duncan has some very serious health issues that would have been difficult for him to manage in prison. As a part of his punishment, he must also pay back $45,000 in tax money to the IRS, IRS and do community service either within the city of Dallas or Dallas schools. Live in Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.